Wanda. Yes, with the bonnet. It is another day of Vita. Verda? Vita. I'm working on it. Don't try it. This is my wife. Hey, y'all. Say, say hi. I want to smile. I said hey. It's early. We overslept. We overslept. We are on our way to our best friend's bed. Okay, I said best friend. We ain't best friends yet, but we working on best friends. And we're on our way to our friends. It's better than yours. We were supposed to be there since 8 a.m. And we overslept. Really, it was Lexus. Um, yeah, she taking one for the team. Right, babe? Yeah, she was tired. We've been doing a lot of running. Well, she's been doing most of the running. You all know I had surgery, so she's been doing most of the running. So, you know, she's a little tired. Them feet was burning. She got in the bed, was rubbing them feet together, talking about they was stinging. I tried to rub them. She was like, mm-mm, don't touch them. So, we are due for a um, pedicure and to get our nails done. I'm on my way. Wow, everybody must be guests this morning. I am on my way to... Our friends is better than yours, Kelvy and Courtney. Um, I'm gonna hang out. I'm gonna get my hair done, um, and you know, just do what we do. So we will be checking back in in a little while. Okay, guys. So my wife just went to the store. Tell me, sorry for the bright light. Tell me if you guys have this problem. So you guys know I've been home trying to heal but the lord is working it out so my wife is at work all day right and i'm at home i'm reading cleaning up doing things i'm probably not supposed to be doing because i'm not supposed to be bending and all that stuff but that's okay because i still gotta help the wife out and so and it's what i'm used to doing so when she gets home you know we talk you know she helps me sometimes with dinner or get the boys together she does the pickup and picks the pickup with the boys now and that's what she's doing because i'm out of commission so at night she's usually editing the videos she always talking about i wait tonight to want to play but i feel like i can play I be trying to whisper to her. I be trying to sing my melodies to her. I be trying to sing in her ear. I be trying to tell her secrets. She be like, all I feel is your spit going in my ear. Ain't no disrespectful. I be trying to whisper to her. The other night I was trying to sing her a song. And she was like, Tawanda, it is 1 o'clock in the morning. Go to sleep. I felt very hurt. I was trying to romance her let her know that I love her one o'clock two o'clock with hot breath I love her when she got boogers don't tell her I said that I love her when she got crust in her eyes I kiss her with morning breath that is love and so I was trying to serenade her with a song actually it was that um, Donald song that new song with her and Chrissy in the video. I was trying to remake the video with her. Girl, y'all should have seen how y'all should have seen how she was acting. I learned them words just for her. And she wanna act like, you know. So then in the morning, she always talking about when you wake up, I know that you're up. You turn on every light, you make so much noise. But when when I get up, you don't even know I'm out the bed. That's because she always trying to keep tabs on me. I mean, if I roll over at night, if I fart, she'd be like, what you doing? If I put my foot over the bed to go creep to the bathroom, she'd be like, where you going? I'd be like, to the bathroom. She'd be like, you just went to the bathroom three hours ago. You don't have to go. How you know what Bible had to hold him? I try to get up the bed. Where you go? I'm going to get a snack. Uh-uh. Lay down. I'll go get the snack. I mean, her fault why you know we be going through things and then once you come back I figure she up so I be wanting to play and talk and show her videos watch TV snap to something mm -mm. she not dedicated to me y'all think she not dedicated to me now I can't really say that because she does get up now if I need water and I don't and I don't feel good not even I don't feel good but I don't feel like getting up and I'm like I'm so thirsty she could wake up and she go give me something to drink. Hell, hell, if I breathe hard, she wake up. Be like, why are you breathing hard? You can't breathe? Tell me, Lexus is something serious. 
But you know, I love her. You gotta love your wife. You gotta love your partner. You gotta love them through all the flaws. You gotta let. You gotta let. You gotta let them. Allow them to feel that you see past their flaws and their past their flaws, and you see their perfections. Because we're all flawed. No one's perfect. I don't care what you say. Nothing or no one or no relationship is perfect. So you gotta love them through their flaws, and put it and let them know that you see the beauty within them. Yeah. I'll be texting her during the day, like, hey, beautiful. I'm thinking about you. Some days uh, before my surgery, I would just leave and go take her lunch. She has a hard day. I just go by and see her. She liked them um, strawberry lemonades from Wendy's. Go take her one of those and one of them four for fours because <laughs> we on a budget. She gets that four for four when we budgeting. Mm -hmm, that's what we do but I'll check back in in a little while she coming back in the car don't tell her I'm back you guys I thought she was coming back from the inside of the gas station but anyways like I was saying make sure she ain't coming back you gotta love your partner through their flaws like we're all flawed but my wife has a beautiful a beautiful heart nothing's perfect but she has a beautiful heart and I do love her she my girl mm-hmm I asked her the other day. I was like, can we have a sister wife? She was like, do you want to die? I like that show. Ain't nothing wrong with a third hand. A third person to help clean up, take care of the children. She was like, Tawanda. But, you know, my wife has a good heart and I love her. Yep. I do. Because she's seen me through all my ugly. Mm all my everything and still she loves me like I said every everyone is flawed but I do know that she loves me and even with all of my flaws she doesn't like when we're talking about and going through things we talk about it but she doesn't point out all my flaws like every day like oh you made a mistake or you did this and you did that and you did that she doesn't do that and and and, and that's good to have and no matter what I want to do if I told Alexis I wanted to, to go to uh nasa to be an astronaut she will say what we need to do for you to get there to be a uh, astronaut no matter what i want to do she supports me she never tells me that i can't and when i'm feeling down about different stuff she's just like babe you gonna be okay just the interruption um she supports me she just be like babe it's gonna be all right you got this you can do this. Don't worry about what other people feel or what other people thinking. You know, she always she got she has me. You know, um, I love school and you know, changing over professions. I was a therapist, um, clinical social worker, different things like that. And no matter what, like she supports me. She never ever tells me that no, you can't do that or no, this this and that. You know. And it's the same with me. No matter what she wants to do, I support her. I don't care what it is. If that's where her heart is, you know, there was a time where she just wanted to be home. She needed to be home. She wanted to be home just to figure out what she wanted to do. And she did. She stayed on for about a year and a half just to kind of figure out where she wanted to go, what she wanted to do with herself. It was no need to have her somewhere stressed out. And I'm all for that, you know. Um, Sometimes you just have to make things work. It's better to have your sanity than to be all stressed out, can't get your life together, and your partner stressed out. That means how stressed out, everybody's stressed out. Everyone, I mean, everyone's stressed out. And if you have somebody who supports you through that, like I've just been through a lot of stuff in life, and she never judges me. She never makes me feel like, you know, you're like I'm less than. And, you know, I treat her like a queen, the queen that she is. Um, we go through things, but there's nothing that I wouldn't do for her. Um, and not just financially and just buying gifts, but anything. You know, she never has to say it twice. When we're talking, if I hear it, then she has it. If she's going through some things, then I'm listening. You know, different things like that. And you just want that, like I said. And keeping God first, you know, and praying. And, you know, like I said, nothing's perfect. But having that person that you know that's going to have your back. And, you know, 
just be there for you. If I get a little bump on my neck or anywhere, she'd be ready to squeeze and she don't be like, ooh. You know, when I went for my surgery, it was hard for her. Like I said, because she wasn't expecting it. We weren't expecting it. And, you know, like I told her before, it's usually just the four of us. Well, six of us now, Lex and I. Well, Lex, the boys, the two dogs, and I now. And, you know, basically, um, you know, she went through that by herself. And I could see where that was a scary situation. The surgery went much longer than it was supposed to. And, you know, no one. You know, we had um, a few people reach out to us. And you all know who you are. We've told you all thank you. We are very, 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 very grateful for you. And like I said, well, uh, even with Courtney and Cal um, Calvia, you know, we're just learning them, getting to meet them. And, you know, we were so very grateful for the care package. You know, we didn't have to have that, but we're grateful. We had other friends reaching out um, that live here in Columbia, asking to send food to us, Shannon, Shannon, Shan, and just we had um, so many people, so many, not so many people. I would say four, one, two three couples yeah three couples you know um just really reaching out to us hold on you guys all right sorry you guys so you know um there were some people who just really reached out and they went above and beyond and you know they're new to us and we're new to them and they didn't have to like courtney and calvia casey squad you know um when I woke up and everything, and even to, to up until today, you know, um, they calling, reaching out, um, they sent the care package, and like I said, we didn't ask for that, we didn't need that, but we are very grateful for it, um, you know, because we have family members who didn't, you know, do, you know, didn't even call or anything, um, we had Shannon, Shan from Two Les on the go, um, they were texting and calling, um, and offering to send food and then we had d from um it's a family thing she was reaching out like people just really went above and beyond and we had um we had d and um felicia sorry you guys we had d and felicia who reached out um she and me and the baby makes three um so you know we're very grateful and like I said, I was more worried about my wife and my children more than I was worried for myself. But we're getting back on a, we're getting on a go to go see the KC squad. Um, so we'll check back in later. KC squad, congratulations on your new place. We have you a early pre. My friend is better than your friends. Housewarming gift. Sorry that we didn't wrap it. Um, I was it's my fault. I was supposed to get the wrap bag by the time we got home from the store, grocery shopping, and picking up stuff for Trey. We forgot the wrapping paper, but we hope you like to get it. And then when you have your real housewarming party, if you have one, we'll bring a wrapped gift. <laughs> started talking so we didn't check in but we are here baby's getting her hair done and i'm just chilling watching courtney play her game <laughs> i will let them say hey in a few hey guys i'm having a little friend date they got me watching the scary ass movies everybody got pizza i'll show you my pizza and everybody's pizza i'm not gonna put baby in the camera because she's getting her hair done so we gotta make sure she's fresh before she get on this camera. <laughs> so, 
So we'll check her in a second. So mine was blurry, y'all. So this is mine. What's it, y'all? Oh, this But I have to help. Well, that's quite nice pizza. <laughs> Too. Yeah, they ain't here talking about weekend wives. <laughs> I can't. But we're Netflixing and chilling. Friends edition. Check back in. So, hey guys, we didn't do um, much filming while Babe was getting her hair done. Oh, you don't want to see my hair? Wait, 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 wait. Let me take it Don't down. take that down. We'll take it down Until in the tomorrow. Morning. Listen, my friends are better than yours. Did an amazing job, but I'll talk about it more once we're up because it's really, really, really late. Yeah, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. So I can give you her business name, her Instagram. She did an amazing job, and we feel very blessed to have found. No, not found. We feel very blessed to have been, had two more people put in our life that we really feel that care for us and we care about them. We really do feel that we're going to have a long lasting friendship and you guys once we all talk get together and talk to you guys when we have a day when we're just chilling and filming you guys are going to be like the similarities are crazy are crazy it's like we're like double mint twins <laughs> like alexis and i and cal uh, and kels and courtney and i like we're like matching like mm -hmm. it's crazy how much courtney and alexis are alike mm -hmm. and it's crazy how much calvia and i are like and when i say crazy i mean like even likes a certain stuff mm -hmm. um and them as a couple how much they um them as a couple how much we all are alike it was like today we didn't do anything but get my hair done and watch movies order pizza watch movies and Lexus just took talk. a nap and just talk and yeah. we were all really like y'all y'all can tell I was comfortable because it's while baby was getting her hair done I was asleep now let me tell you she went to sleep <laughs> she was snoring <laughs> took off her shoes <laughs> she might even do some <laughs> and like we really just felt so comfortable we had a great time and we all well, well let's just sleep and we started watching movies we ordered pizza and we were all just okay with that like but y'all know i was recovering from the previous day with all that running we had to do that y'all have probably already seen but we know, so um like we just really all had a great time yeah you just got a chocolate in your shirt no nothing you do got something because she's looking at all my shirt it's filthy making a blah blah thing something so with we are mind. bonding with our child because she, she believed was, like she was abandoned all day. So yeah, but we'll talk more about it tomorrow because well, like later on because it's like most five o'clock in the morning. Most five o'clock in the morning, but like we had an amazing time doing nothing but just talking and mm -hmm. watching movies and having pizza. And we're gonna be doing some things as couples some challenges, and stuff some like challenges that. together but and traveling and some tra and some traveling we have to finish that t today later yeah. in the day but we just really enjoyed ourselves and i am so very blessed and so 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 very thankful for them like you guys i can't explain how grateful let me know that i'm not gonna put it down how grateful we are for um for you guys but so we're just gonna say Good night slash good morning because <laughs> like we said it's five o'clock in the morning and we're just getting home <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> we're gonna play with her for a little while get her worked up so that she can go back to sleep Hi. and we'll check in with you guys tomorrow well later on today <laughs> i'll see you guys later bye, bye.